It seems it happened in a school in the United States of America. A teacher by name Mrs. Thompson walked into the classroom and that was her first day in school. And this 8th standard class teacher started the class saying this, I love you all. And she knew she was lying. Because she could not love that one boy sitting in the class who was dirty, who was shabby, unkept hair, was not able to make eye contact. And she was not able to feel any connectivity to that one boy, Teddy. So she was always indifferent towards him. After the first term was over and when the time had come to write the progress reports, she wrote a report and the school had the system that all these reports had to go to the principal of the school and she has to countersign. So she called for Mrs. Thompson and she told Mrs. Thompson, a progress report should report progress. A report should be written by a teacher in such a way that the boy and the parents now begin to believe in the boy. By reading this report, the boy will give up on his life and the teachers will give up on the boy. And the parents will believe that it's a curse to have such a son. Never write a report which does not promise progress of the child. Mrs. Thompson immediately said, nothing positive can ever be written about that boy. The principal immediately called the administrative staff and asked them to bring the previous year's progress reports and the last three years of progress reports of Teddy was handed over to Mrs. Thompson. The principal said, go through this and you will understand. Standing there, Mrs. Thompson opened the fifth standard progress report of Teddy and it said, Teddy is the most brilliant boy in the class. He consistently outperforms every other classmate of his. Mrs. Thompson couldn't believe her eyes. She closed the report, kept it on the side and picked up the sixth standard report. And the class teacher's remark was, Teddy, mother is suffering from terminal sickness. It looks like he will lose his mother and it's beginning to show up on the performance of the child. Tears were welling up Mrs. Thompson's eyes. She placed the progress report on the side, picked up the seventh standard report, and the report read, Teddy has lost his mother. And he feels he has lost everything about life. He has completely withdrawn himself from everything. Unless somebody mothers him, there's no future to Teddy. By now, tears were trickling down Mrs. Thompson's eyes. She looked into the eyes of the principal and the principal told Mrs. Thompson, never judge a child without knowing the background of the child. Never judge a child without knowing the background of the child. Understand the background of the person you are married to, you are getting married to. The quality of your relationship will change. Understand the background of the people you are recruiting. Your leadership skills will become much more effective. Understand the background from which he is coming. Understand the background of the city in which you diversify your business. You will be able to do your business much better because the ways that work in Chennai don't work in Mumbai. The ways that work in Mumbai do not work in Dubai. Understand the background of that place. There is an ethos to a person, to a place, to a country. And then relate. That's what the principal told Mrs. Thompson. Never judge a child without knowing the background of the child.